This is a scruffy little off cut of walnut that I cut with my brother, oh, I don't know, a couple of months ago. It was very disappointing because there was no heartwood whatsoever. But I cut it up to make some um, staves. I thought I'd season it, see how it did. But this was a skinny off cut, so I put it on the hot water pipes of the central heating system to let it dry out quickly to see what it was like. But it's actually quite impressive. I don't know, well, you can hear from my voice how hard I'm pulling. That feels to me like that's got the making. This is. Right, I'm leaning on that as hard as I can. Oof. Uh, yeah, it could be interesting. Bit of timber. I can make a bow and I can call it white walnut. And all sorts of people tell me there's no such thing. Uh, well, of course there isn't, but it's just walnut sapwood. Um, yeah, it's not very exciting. I've been sorting out some year as well as random offcuts and billets. I've been trying to match up as pairs. I can glue them up, give me something to do, keep me out of mischief. I've got two of my pairs of billets glued up now. Uh, the other pair's down on the floor there. On this one, there was an area on one limb where there was a knot. But you can see the knot just there. And it was a little bit thinner than the rest of the billet. So what I've done, you probably barely see it, I've actually cleaned off some of the wood there and I've let in a thin section. But what I'll do is I'll glue the backing onto that side, so that will be the back of the bow, so that patch will never be in any danger of getting cut into or worked and it's near the neutral plane of the bow so it won't affect the strength at all. This is uh, the skinnier pair of billets. That will probably be, I don't know, maybe a 35 pound long bow for someone who wants one. The other thicker pair I've glued up. Uh, I, might back, I might back this pair with ash and the skinny pair with bamboo but we'll see. Anyhow, it's given me something to do, so there you go.